Save your tender bulbs for a replanting next spring. Hi, I'm Helen Munz, USU Extension garden expert, and I'm gonna show you how to save your tender bulbs. Bulb is a general term for any plant that has a large underground structure, but that also includes rhizomes and tubers. You can save your canna lilies and your dahlias and other tender bulbs over the winter and replant them next spring. You simply dig them out carefully, leaving lots of room so that you don't damage any of the bulbs. This here is a canna lily and it is technically a rhizome. So once you have your plants dug out, usually after the first frost, they're ready to dig out, then you want to gently remove as much soil as you can. And then they need to cure for a few days. So once you've removed the soil from your bulb, you set them in an indoor location where they can dry for a few days. Let's take a closer look. We're gonna scrape off a little bit of this dirt. And we're gonna set them to dry. Now, after they've had a few days to dry, they are ready for storage. So what you need is either an old plant tree pot container, or you can use just a cardboard box and you'll need some kind of material to pack around the bulbs so that they don't uh, come in contact and they have nice, good cushion. So one type of medium you can use is perlite. You can also use packing peanuts or just a dry potting soil. So now I'm gonna put a little bit of perlite into my tree pot. Since there's holes in the bottom of my tree pot for drainage, I've lined my tree pot with a garbage bag and then I'm going to take each bulb and place them in. And then I'm going to refill so that, let's take a closer look here, so that each bulb is well covered and they aren't in contact with each other. I'll place my next bulb here. my next bulb here. Okay. So we we'll want to cover our bulbs all the way. I ran out of perlite, so I'm going to use a little bit of dry soil to top it off here. Now that we have the bulbs, nice and covered. Then we have to store them in a cool, dark area. So usually a basement or a dark closet. Uh, they prefer cooler temperatures for storage between about 40 and 50 degrees. If it's a little bit warmer, that's okay. Um, and so you want to make sure that they're in a dark location until spring comes around and they're ready to plant again. For more gardening tips, Visit gardening garden.usu.edu. Thanks for watching.